Hello and welcome to this new video in the Spark playlist. In this video we will see how to install Apache Spark on your local machine. Let's get started. The first thing that you have to do even before you think about installing Spark is to install Java. Java is required for Apache Spark to work properly on your machine. So we can download Java from anywhere. I would suggest you download it from the Oracle website which we will head over just in a minute over there then we will learn how to install Java which should be very, very much simple and then set the Java part so let us see this step by step so I'm into a browser you can use any browser that's fine I'm using Google Chrome we will search for download Java and there you get many listings I'm using the second one which is pointing us to Oracle so you go into this path scroll down here you have Java downloads so you have based on the operating system that you're using either Linux, Mac or Windows. Since I'm using Windows, I'll click on Windows. So you have here different options like you have a zip file, you have exe file and then you have MSI installer. So what I'll do is I have downloaded this file already, the one in the between which is an exe file. And then if we just go over to the downloads, here I have that. So I'll just double click on this file to install. Also what you could do is before installing this you can make sure that Java is if it's already installed on your system then no need to install it. One way is let's say you search for control panel and just check the list of the programs which is installed on your system. Uh, so you can click on this programs uninstall. So here I don't see anything which is saying Java. This is one confirmation. Another way to check is if you go into your C drive and into program files that's where mostly Java is installed. I don't see Java here as well. Another thing is do Windows R type in CMD hit enter and type in this command in lowercase Java space hyphen version. So all of these things now you see that Java command is not recognized. These things confirm that Java is not installed on your machine. So what we'll do is I'll close this CMD or command prompt and go to the downloads and double click on this Java file that has been downloaded this is the installer so you'll get this pop-up we'll just say next if you see it is taking up the default path as C program files Java JDK in case you want to save this installation to a different path click on change browse through the folder over here and select the destination and click OK I'll just say cancel because I just want to keep it in the same default path next and this should just install the Java on our machine now which will just be a matter of few seconds so we are done we'll just click on close if I now go to control panel and just refresh it I can see that the Java has been installed now this is just the first step this itself is not enough for you to run Java because now if you do window R CMD and hit enter then if I type this command Java space hyphen version it says Java is not recognized. The reason is because you have to also set the path in the environment variable. So I'll close this again and go to C drive program files where we gave the path for our installation. So this is the path Java and under this we have JDK. So I'll copy this path, hit the windows button and search for environment variables click on this environment variable over here I'll under system variables I'll create a new variable firstly I'll name this as Java underscore home tab and paste this okay then I'll scroll down and there is a variable called path over here edit so what we'll do is we need this bin path so I'll go inside the bin copy this path and over here I'll say new just paste and ok ok so this pa this step is important why is this step important because if you add this path over there this is the path wherein it has all the core files of the Java and you can run your Java programs from anywhere so this will allow you to do that now if I just do Windows R CMD and say Java in lowercase hyphen version this shows me the version number 
and this confirms that Java has been now installed. Even if you proceed with this step and when you run the Spark, you will get to know when you face error that Java has not been installed. So that's why installing Java is the first step. Now comes the time to install Spark. In order to do this, you have to first download Apache Spark from the website. So let us head over to the browser once again in order to download it. So I'm in the browser and I will search for download Apache Spark. So the first listing itself, we'll click on this. Under here, you can choose a Spark release. The recent one as of now is released on 25th of October 2022, 3.3.1. You can keep that same and then you can choose the package. I'll just keep it this one and just click on this, the third link download Apache Spark. It will take you to the another page and you can click on the first link over here. This will download a compressed file which will be nothing but this one. Then what I'll do is right click and I'll extract to a folder. So this should take some time to extract. Once the extraction is done we will move it to a specific location that we want although that's not compulsory but you can keep it under C drive anywhere that you want so the extraction is done I'll just rename this as spark or maybe what we can do is we can go inside because there is another folder inside I'll rename the inside folder as spark inside this you will have all the folders so I'll cut this from here and then go into C drive either I can paste it here or under program files anywhere that's fine so we are here go inside this and go inside the bin folder under this there are various shell commands and spark shell is the one to get started with so we'll copy this path c spark bin do windows r cmd enter i'll move to this folder location by saying cd cd is change directory paste the path hit enter and here we'll just type spark hyphen shell to get started with spark in case Java is installed and the path is configured and set correctly in under environment variables, you should be fine. In case if it is not, you will get an error stating Java has not been installed. So now you see it is trying to initialize and start Spark. I'll just click on allow over here. So you see that Spark has started the version is 3.3.1 although we are not going to do our development in command prompt we will be installing a separate IDE which is nothing but interactive development environment which we will cover in the next video but I just wanted to tell you about how things are done at a ground level when it comes to installing spark and setting up Java to get started on your local machine so that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned